did our walkthrough, uh, signed all the paperwork, and we are finally getting hooked up to the camper. They're putting on the uh, pitch equipment right now, making sure everything lines up. And then we're going to go celebrate and get lunch because we're starving. It's uh, been kind of a long process just because uh, we want to make sure there was an issue when we looked at it with the slide and it took them a little while but they got it recalibrated so everything's all good to go. Um, I'd rather be fixed now versus having to come back later when we were trying to camping, trying to go camping and it doesn't want to work properly or gets worse. So we will update you more when we are home probably or maybe at the restaurant and um, give you a walkthrough tour then. Alright, so here it is. This is our 2017 Jayco Whitehawk 31RLKS. So starting on the outside, we have huge, huge storage compartments. And you can see, look at the, the thickness of the door. Kind of tells me that it's insulated a little better than the travel trailers we've had in the past. Uh, let's see, the gross weight of it is 8,950 pounds. According to this sticker, the empty weight, the dry weight, is 7,589 pounds. Uh, it's got the, the manual stabilizer jacks. It has a covered underbelly. Uh, let's see, you got your dump valve, outside shower, six gallon water, uh, water heater gas and electric and then in the slides or in this this slide you got a storage storage compartment there it's not very big it is kind of tall though uh, this storage compartment is a little bit bigger not sure what we'll keep on this side <laughs> Uh, probably things that we won't access very much. I think maybe my uh, the leveling blocks, stuff like that, we'll probably just keep over here. Uh, we got dual 30 pound LP tanks. We got the diamond plate on the front. Did not get one with the front cap on it. Kind of wanted one. I think they look really good, but I don't know. Doesn't really serve much of a purpose, I suppose. On this side, we have a mini fridge outside. There is not an outside kitchen, but we do have this. That's kind of a cool, cool feature, I think. 
Uh, we got lights inside the storage compartment. Slam latches. And we have dual awnings. Rather than the slide taking up some of your under awning space, they give you two awnings. And these awnings do have LED light strips underneath. I don't have them on, but you get the idea. Uh, we got the UV tinted, uh, the UV tinted fr uh, frameless windows. Over here we have the outside speakers, cable hookup, power outlets, and then a TV mount. There's one of these just like this in the bedroom, so you can take your bedroom TV and set it up outside. Now moving inside, as soon as you walk in, you have the switch panel. And all of the lights in here are on one switch. There are lots and lots of lights in here. You've got a light there, a light there, there's a light, a light there, another one, another one here. And then you got these two switches here. One of them is for the light over the dinette and then this other switch turns on the lights over the slide. I think that's pretty cool. Probably be a good night light. Uh, first thing we noticed when we walked in here is how big the living space is. Going from our toy hall that had one slide to having opposing slides in here just makes this huge. Feels huge anyways. Uh, we got wall hugging, reclining, theater seating, a tri-fold memory foam sofa. Then you got the U-shaped dinette, which obviously that table goes down and turns that into a bed. Underneath the dinette, there's storage, these plastic bins. One on each side. Uh, in the kitchen, lots of cabinets pantry space, over the sink storage, under sink storage, storage under the oven, and then four, four of these huge, huge drawers. have an eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, a lot more storage under the TV, uh, Furion Electronics, I think that's pretty much, pretty much standard now. And we have a skylight over the kitchen with the shade. And as soon as you walk in the door, you've got the bathroom. And in the bathroom, it's a, a porcelain toilet. We got this radius shower. Let's see if I can get this thing off here with one hand. All right, got it off. We have a lot of storage in the bathroom, something we haven't had before. Over the sink, you got a medicine cabinet. Not a very large one, but hey, at least we got one. It's not just a, a mirror glued to the wall. <laughs> and then in the bedroom, you know, obviously because that many fridge outside they had to shift the bed slightly to the left which gives whoever sleeps here a little bit smaller of a nightstand than over on the other side but each side does have a power outlet Turn some lights on 
Each side has a power outlet and this side also has a uh, USB outlet. And then under the bed, on each side, I got more storage with these plastic bins. Then the front wall of the bedroom has the TV hookups. And just like that mount outside, once your TV is mounted here, you just pull this bracket off with your TV on it, take it outside. And then when you bring it back in, just back in place. It's pretty solid. The closet space in here is pretty big. Along with the overhead storage, rather than it just being a shelf, we actually have doors. If you watched the video of our toy hauler, I was complaining about the little details, like not having struts on these overhead cabinets. Jayco gives you metal struts. Even in their SLX models, which is kind of like the economy entry level model, they have metal struts on the doors. <laughs> it's just the little things. Even like here in the kitchen. Faucet. Faucet's really, really nice for being a camper. Well, I hope that uh, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I tried not to rush it, but I don't like to really extend these videos out longer than they need to be. I just wanted to kind of have it be short, sweet, and to the point.